So today's the second video in the series, Building Better Relationships. If you haven't watched the first video yet, go ahead and watch it. The series is based off of the plan in the Bible app, and it's called You Drive Me Crazy. I believe is written by Rick Warren. Definitely check it out. It has a lot of good information on it. Um, but this is the second video, and it's going to be talking about reaction, how you react to people. So the first and I guess the most vital thing about this video is to try to understand where someone else is coming from. Try to see the other person's perspective and that gives you a lot better insight on why they do the things they do. It may not be right what they're doing, but at least you can see from their perspective why they're doing it. If a person is saying things and are angry, then understand that they're angry and they're saying things that are hurtful to you, but perhaps they don't mean it. And like I said, I'm not trying to excuse someone's behavior, but we need to think on a different level of thinking. I feel like this Bible study plan has forced me to be a lot more compassionate towards people and their emotions because I, you know, we all want someone to treat us like this, right? Um, I'm sure we've all been in a situation where we've been angry and we say something that we don't necessarily mean. Well, we can do good to others and love them by having that same compassion. Look at it from their perspective and see, you know, why they're saying the things that they're saying. Maybe they're just angry or maybe they're frustrated because of this. Um, so like I said, this doesn't excuse their behavior, but you don't need to negatively, re negatively react to every negative situation or behavior. You can be the bigger person. You don't have to act the way they're acting. Act in love. If you don't know why they're acting the way they're acting, even if you try to look at it from their perspective and you're still confused, just ask, you know, why are you doing this? Can you please show me? I want to see what you see. I want to see it from your perspective. You know, I want to understand why you're doing this. Um, just do it kindly, you know. Um, I think people would most likely appreciate that. Be considerate. Also, don't invalidate someone's feelings. You cannot tell somebody how to feel at all. You know, if somebody is insulting you and calling you names, that's one thing. But if somebody's saying that you make them feel a certain way, you can't invalidate that. That you just, That is what it is. That's, you know, then you have to figure out behavior that you can change so that they don't feel that way. Yes, some people are just highly offensive and that could be the case. You know, Jesus didn't want to behave in a way that was contradicting the word of God in order to please the people around him. So, you know, if you ever have to contradict the word, then obviously don't. But you also don't have to invalidate how you made someone feel. So if someone is saying, you make me feel like I'm stupid, you know, don't say, no, I don't do that. I don't make you feel like you're stupid. Just try to understand, you know, why? What do I do that makes you feel like that? What can I do to change and not make you feel like that anymore? I hope I'm explaining that okay. That was just an example. Invalidating someone's feelings minimizes it. It makes them feel like you don't care. You are not them. They are not you. You can't argue with the way that you made someone feel. James chapter 3 verse 17 says, The wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. So this Bible verse is saying, um, you know, the wisdom that comes from God. This is, I feel like this is a, a different kind of thinking. This is not, you know, being defensive all the time. This is really having compassionate for someone and really loving someone. If you can stop and look at a relationship like this or look at an argument like this, that's being wise. It says that it's first of all, pure and peace loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy. Like just as God is full of mercy with us, good fruit, impartial and sincere. Being considerate and understanding where someone is coming from is one of the first steps in building better relationships. So if you have a relationship with someone that you really want to improve, whether it's a relationship with your mom or a friend or a cousin, whatever it is, you can start by trying to see where they're coming from and then work your way from there. Um, so that is it for today's video. Like I mentioned before, definitely check out the plan You Drive Me Crazy in the Bible app. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.